Hey guys, how's it going? My name is Alexon and welcome back everybody to the Crafting Dead. Now, as I am sorting out my inventory here, I'm going to let you guys know what is up and how things are going right now. Because as you guys can see, I am not on Covina at the moment. We are actually on Atlanta server number two. Um, I'll let you guys know all about why that's uh, the switch up really uh, like quickly, like unexpected and things of that nature. But without further ado, guys, if you guys can all hit that like button, that would be a mean, mean a lot because your support in the past few episodes have been absolutely amazing. You guys have really been enjoying the crafting dead on the servers, um, even when you guys didn't enjoy the certain specific server such as Covina. And I'll go into depth about that and really commend you guys for really supporting me um, when you guys didn't enjoy something. So I'll go right into that right about now, guys. So again, Again, please leave a like down below uh, we're going for around 150 to 200 likes you guys have been smashing the like goal and it just means so much to see that um, because I do love doing the crafting dead um, and let's get started ooh, ooh, what is that okay that's a walker um, now the reason why I went back to the um, Atlanta server um, particularly was because when I started my survival, uh, no, not my survival, but my server um, series of the Craft and Dead, it always was on Atlanta. That was the first server where I got to experience the multiplayer interaction. And I decided that because a lot of you guys were saying Covina was not as interesting and kind of was letting you guys down, but you guys were still supportive in the fact that I was, you know, uploading the Craft and Dead. So you guys were still saying great episode. Maybe you can switch up the map because it's the majority of you guys said it wasn't your favorite map at all. And I can see where you guys are coming from because there really wasn't many people on that. There was only like five people a day and it was really just not doing too well for like interaction and fan base and things like that. So I know what you guys are saying from Atlanta is probably one of the best ones because there's always people on there and it's always a great place to, uh, you know, you know, play on. It's a pretty cool map in general. I like it. There's a lot of cities, a lot of villages and plenty of walkers. That's for sure. So Thank you guys again. I just want to say it one more time because it does mean a lot. Your support has been amazing on the Crafting Dead. And I am going to be working on, you know, giving back by trying to upload more Crafting Dead and give a more variety on my channel. Because recently, if you guys have been not, uh, if you guys noticed, um, I've been uploading a lot of Crafting Dead server. There hasn't been like a role play. There hasn't been the uh, Let's Play in a while now. So I kind of want to start bringing that back. Um, but kind of add some new content which I'm really kind of working on and kind of breaking it down So if you guys have any ideas, let me know I'm also thinking about maybe bringing a solo role play of a crafting dead type of type of experience Maybe possibly let me know what you guys think about that if you would be willing to see that um, I think it would be very interesting something I don't think many people have done in the areas of role play kind of like a solo survival type of thing You'll see how it works out when I explain it more into depth um, but I would just like to know what you guys think about that um, Before I really get into it and get you know put my time into it and all that stuff So right now I'm actually using kit assault if you guys don't know so it's some standard things um, Not much actually so if you guys want to go on Atlanta number two server uh, Definitely go and check it out. It's great. I like it brings back good memories um, So it's definitely a fun fun time All right, so let's go check out what we got around here and now I remember a little bit about this map um, one thing for sure is I want to go and explore more of like the military bases kind of like really start getting involved into this city and kind of like taking control and making sure um, you know we keep everything safe from the walkers now that being said there are bandits there are people who like to you know get people's resources and kind of like kill them so we got to make sure we stay away from them I don't want to consider myself a bandit I kind of want to consider myself like Someone such as Rick Grimes from The Walking Dead, kind of someone who is willing to make a group, but also willing to keep the group safe from other people that we don't know about. So right now, I'm the only one. It's just a solo, solo um, survival right now. That's how I want to make it for a little bit because I want to really kind of get interactive with the community on the server simply by, you know, fighting people off of it. Now, what is that? All right, we got ourselves a tower. In a little shelter over there I'm not so sure it looks like a shelter so we'll probably go check it out we got a pretty good kit so I'm not afraid if anyone walks out here so let's go see what do we got in here so this looks like just a simple shelter looks like no one was here actually I don't see anything nothing in the chest now I think I'll be safe if I jump here all right sweet I am awesome so I forgot like breaking legs now I think they actually adjusted that you know from distance of height and things of that nature because before I remember like if you fell from like this height or maybe like a block here, you'd probably break your legs. So yeah, that was not the best situation. What do we got down there? Do I see something over there in the distance? Yeah, I do. I see another building. I want to go and check that out. Kind of want to get a perimeter check around here. Oh, there is a walker hiding right about there. 
Oh, are we lagging here? Oh, there we go. Okay, right now. I thought we were for a second. So there's another building back there. I'm gonna use my melee weapon on these walkers. Uh, I think this is the only melee weapon I have currently. So we kind of have to uh, make sure we don't die out the durability on it. Is that just one building? Yeah. All right. I don't want to waste my time and go to a building like that. Looks like it's just a little shelters that maybe people uh, who have been surviving for a little bit kind of settled down and kind of built a little base. So I don't think we're going to need to check that place out. doesn't offer too many resources. Uh, but we do want to find ourselves some type of village around here. Also, guys, uh, for the Crafting Dead and for the channel in general, um, I really want to bring in back like a role play, but something that I can work on a bit solo because one thing that I really do... Um, you know have trouble with is you know kind of when I work with the role play and a lot of people it's very time consuming but also very difficult to get everyone working on one day specifically to get things done so I find that really you know struggling especially when you know schools in the way um, obviously schools first schools most important so that's why role plays take up so much time so I really it's hard for me to do that so that's why I wanted to bring back maybe not bring back but start a kind of role play that's almost solo so it's easier for me to make my own machinimas and it's easy for me to kind of pick the day I want to work on that role play so I'm gonna be up for that I will let you guys know it is gonna be like a zombie ap apocalypse type theme so I need some ideas let me know in the comment sections please but man we are running really low on food right now so I am not a big fan of that for sure I need some food we got to get something here what is this uh, rotten orange see I don't like that because of the nausea if I had a can opener, I could probably get some canned food, but we just have a lot of soda, which is not bad, but, you know, it's really, you know, not the best thing. We got canned peaches again. We got plenty of canned food. We're just, we just need a can opener. That's all we need right now. Maybe this will be a can opener. No, that's bunny ears. Definitely not what we need right now. All right, let's jump off. I don't think we can break our legs from here. No. How high was that? One, two, three, four. Four blocks. I think it's maybe five to six blocks to break the leg. Uh, oh, yeah, there we go. Opened canned corn how how would that taste i don't even know not i don't even that would be kind of nasty i think i don't know well whatever <laughs> uh let's keep looking so we got ourselves let's do dash near i think we have the option for that okay there are people around here i uh, would kind of expect that it's a pretty big city so even if we get killed off right now i don't think it's gonna be a big deal but i kind of want to make sure i can hold off a bit longer let's do dash near one more time all right looks like they're in a group because they are very close to each other as you guys can see, they're 145, 143. So they're definitely a team. So I have to stick uh, to my gun here and kind of keep that nearby just in case they show up around. I got to take them out maybe. Oh, I broke my legs. So that's what it was. Great. Fantastic. All right. I think I have a kit medic soon some, somewhere around here. I can definitely get you know some morphine. I'll be fine. All right. What do we got here? We're good. All right. Dash kit. Dash kit. Oh, I don't think I have... Ooh, okay. Oh, oh, back off, back off, back off. Okay, okay, chill, chill, chill. We gotta find some morphine. Good thing is that we're in a city already, and I know where the hospital is, and I got peaches, which we can eat up, which is good. So let's make our run to the hospital, because it's right across the street. So I'm, I'm more than sure we'll find morphine. It's not a big deal. It's kind of actually more common to find morphine, just because it's like becoming something more popular i guess i don't know sometimes it's difficult to find but one thing i've been struggling to find is rbi cures definitely that's for sure all right what do you guys want come on show up get in here you guys won't there you go oh my gosh there's actually a good amount of them oh wow there's actually a lot of them piled up around here okay let's not get infected that would be the worst possible combination here all right the hospital is uh is it on the other side yeah it is on the other side all right oh great it's raining now what a day. What a day to be living in this post-apocalyptic world. We really got to get inside that hospital. Prompto. Um, is this a hospital? Yes, it is. All right, good, good. Because I really need resources. And I think there's a guy in here. No, there's not. All right. Let's get our weapon out because I am not really liking this right now. It's a bit too... Uh, I don't know how to say it, but it's a bit scary right now. Let's see. We got medical loot here, so I'm, I'm more than sure we're going to find ourselves morphine somewhere. Um, we better find morphine or else this is really bad. All right, let's keep looking. Morphine, where are you? I know that there's a lot of medical loot upstairs, so I'm banking on the fact that this place has morphine somewhere. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, okay, I forgot that there are more actual, like, entrances from broken windows and glass and things. So let's see, did anyone store anything in here? No, I don't think so. That one I can't open, I forgot. Anyone else want to come in? All right, cool. So, please be some morphine in here. Okay, more walkers. Oh, wow, plenty of walkers here. Back off. Is there anyone else in here? Man, this place has been overrun. Empty syringe. 
Definitely not gonna be, actually I have two of them right now. They're actually good for the RBI cure bottles. So when you get that, you can actually craft it and pretty much get yourself a syringe with a cure in it. So that's always good. All right, this is really a pain now to find a freaking little cure. Oh, there's an, wow, speak of the freaking RBI cure. Like, I was just saying that's more uh, like possible to find uh, actual morphine. Oh, there we go. Okay, we're lucky here. <laughs> wow, that was actually two for two. We are pretty lucky in that case right there. So we have ourselves an RBI cure. Let's actually put that in there with the syringes and some canned food. We'll put that all organized. Wow, we are just so lucky right now. We actually got ourselves out of that mess. So let's make sure we don't get ourselves back into that mess. Hey, empty milk carton. SGC Barbarian would be pretty upset with this one. Empty milk carton, you guys don't know, he likes milk. So yeah, it's it's empty. He's not gonna be too proud about that one. Let's see what it says here. Subject, dying after attack, interesting. So did he turn or not? Ooh, let's walk over there. I don't want him to jump on me, so I'm gonna take him out. Hey, look at this, an RBI bottle. Why are we so lucky right now? This makes no sense. Um, so now let me show you guys how this works. So for those of you who are maybe are new to this, pretty much put the bottle, you get the empty syringe, and there you go, you got that all set up. So I'm gonna do that now because I don't wanna carry too many things inside the backpack. So we're pretty much really solid with the RBI cures. That's always a good thing. And we're pretty much out of that mess. And this city just really is, oh my goodness. Did we get infected just as I said? Oh my gosh, we got infected. Wow, all right, let's take out one of these. We are really lucky right now. I don't know how to explain this, but in uh, Covina, finding a RBI cure was almost impossible. It took like a few episodes. So let's actually use this now. We're pretty much all good to go. We're pretty much cured for now, but um, you know, who knows what can happen in the, oh, that is a new building, guys. That is a new building. I have not seen a building like this on Atlanta. Are they updating buildings? Because this is really cool. What is this building? Is this a police station? Is there a guy in there? Oh gosh, there's a guy in there. Oh my goodness. Oh, I killed him. Ah, oh, sweet. All right, all right, okay, chill. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness. What do we got in here, what do we got in here? 36, 63, oh my gosh, this is insane. We just took that guy out. Okay, okay, hold on. He was probably propped with items here. Check this out, guys. He's got no items in there. Okay, we got a lot of good stuff here. I want to make sure we are safe. He can easily jump on me one, once more. He has a gun bag. All right, he has a lot of things. Oh, this is sweet. All right, we might uh, end off the episode here because this is actually a sheriff's office. A sheriff's, like, pretty much a police station. And with that being said, there's going to be tons of action around here. So let's go to the top and kind of... Oh, wow, this is definitely... There's a lot of walkers, too. So I don't think... I'm going to break my legs if I jump here. I do not... Actually, yeah, I don't want to break my legs because we just came from a horrible scene of that. But, wow, guys, check this out. We got 10 bullets on this guy, so that's pretty solid right there. We got pretty good guns here. He definitely was decked out, so we took him out. That was solid work, guys. Let's hope he's not here, actually. Let's actually take out his body so no one can take his things. These are the majority of things. Um, all right, sweet. I think we're going to hold off the episode here, guys. Oh, we got a shotgun. I like shotguns. I would like to use more of that eventually um, if I can find more. But yeah, guys, if you guys enjoyed today's episode, make sure you guys hit that like button. Uh, as I told you guys, there will be more action and how, you know, that just happened. So pretty much I was right. There was going to be more of that stuff happening and it did so. So that's pretty cool. And I think there's going to be a lot more of this in the future. And hopefully there's not going to be as many of these guys around here. Is there anything in there? No, there's not. What about the gun bag? Double barrel shotgun inside the gun bag. Not bad. So, if you guys enjoyed, make sure you guys hit that like button. I'm going to clear these guys out here. Because they are kind of loud and annoying. Alright, there we go. Sweet. So, without further ado, make sure you guys all hit that like button. I'll catch you guys later with more craft and dead. Peace out, guys. Stay foxy. Let me know in the comment sections what you guys thought about today's episode. And I'll catch you guys later with some more crafting dead. Peace out, guys.